You're listening to an audio article by the Common Constitutionalist. Today's audio article is entitled, Where is our COVID relief and why isn't it more? What's taking so long to pass the latest COVID relief plan? And why do these politicians want $1.9 trillion? Let's do the math and see. It was clear back in the summer of 2020, I believe, when President Trump wanted to send everyone a $2,000 check. Then Pelosi and the Dems got a hold of it and basically said, no way we're giving Trump a victory like that so close to election day. Okay, she didn't exactly say that. But as we know, everything is political with the Dems. So she may as well have. Because that was the result. Millions suffered through the holidays. But now that the election is over, Dems can get back to the work of the people. They propose sending out $1,400 checks to all eligible recipients eventually. That's the balance due after the last round of $600 checks, equaling a grand total of $2,000. Does that add up to $1.9 trillion? <laughs> Not even remotely close. If all 330 million people in America received a $1,400 relief check, it would add up to $462 billion. But not everyone will, because not everyone is eligible. In late January, CNN Politics reported that, quote, more than 160 million Americans received a stimulus payment worth up to $1,200 or double for couples last year, unquote. Then another round of $600 checks went out to about the same amount of people. This new stimulus package they are debating now is supposed to be for $1,400 per person, but only for those individuals earning less than $75,000. For those interested, that's 53.6% of the people, according to Statista.com. Okay, let's tally this up. Last time they sent out checks to over 160 million eligible people. So let's be generous and say, just for the sake of argument, that there are 170 million people eligible this time. $1,400 checks times 170 million people equals $238 billion. Is it just me, or does that not look remotely like $1.9 trillion? Well, it's not just me. That's only 12.5% of $1.9 trillion. In fact, if every man, woman, and child received a $1,400 check, it would add up to $462 billion, which is only 24.3% of $1.9 trillion COVID relief plan. Even if we add in the proposed additional unemployment supplement, it would bring the $238 billion generously to maybe $300 billion. That's still less than 16% of the total proposed relief package. And just for fun, if the $1.9 trillion relief plan was to go just to the people, we would each receive over $5,700 check. And if it went just to eligible Americans, each would get over $11,000. So ask yourself if these political hacks on Capitol Hill and in the White House care so much for the people who voted them into office why are we only getting 16% of the relief? And the real question everyone should be asking themselves is, where in the hell is the other 84% going? Where is over $1.6 trillion going? Better yet, it's time we started asking the aforementioned political hacks. But if you do happen to get that opportunity... Don't be surprised if you're greeted with a blank stare because they don't have clue one where the money is going and don't seem to give a crap. Thank you for listening.